Hello there, everyone, and welcome back. Of course, what you probably know is now is uh, episode 11 of us playing as, uh, in, or in, um, the East is Red submod for TNO as the Northwest National Defense Fronts, but the new face of the production team. Only after three times blowing the horn for the end of the work, a few production teams already picked up their farming tools and rushed to the village. Ling Xiao Biao, the captain of the fifth team, carried a hoe handle and walked in front of the forefront with a gray towel wrapped around his head, the only towel he had, and yesterday he asked, Luo, you live for pizza form pancreas, but still couldn't wash it. No, not white is not white. Liang Xiao Bao did not care about a secondary contradiction, and this thin man proudly raised his rib chest, striding forward. Today is the day that their five teams are proud of themselves, and his waist can finally straighten up. Originally, there were only four production teams in the village, and the four captains complained to the secretary that there were too many people to manage, so each of them set aside a few people to form another team, needless to say. The allocator are too old and weak, the land is barren, but also scattered in various places. Liang Jia Bao cannot even point people. At the end of the year, a calculation of points, always the bottom of five teams, they had forgotten how much he wrote of this. The team made how many assurances, but now it is different. The cadres from above came to the village and encouraged them to get up and make trouble. Liang Jia Bao boldly, with all the members of the five teams, threw the problem up. Really made the decision for them. After the close of work today, the five production teams will be broken up, reorganized, the responsibility of the field's officer drawn. We're all fair to see who can pressure them to lead the five teams. Uh, Liang, Liang Xiao Bao was as beautiful as if he had drunk ice water in a three-volt day, three volt day, humming an albatross as he walked past along. The people in the field were still packing up, watched him walk by proudly, we couldn't help but talk to each other, look at what you can give him. The little man is pleased with himself. He can make a scene, can, can, but can I, neck? But I can't? Next time I'll go make fun of him too, let's see what he'll do. This kind of thing always needs to be justified and reasonable. The poor peasants have to be God-fearing. Uh, we're doing liberate poor groups. In the past, the party relied on the poor peasants who carried out its work. Today, we'll have to rely on them to carry out our democratic reform work. Class divisions are happening all the time. In the same brigade, there will be one or two production teams that are in the most difficult situation, as the saying goes. When the poor are in need of change, they're bound to have some insights. So. Hmm. Well, I mean, Kurt speaking on the stage. Achieve achievements, everybody. Compared to the current grassroots democratic reform process and the choices we make, the reforms following effects will be triggered. Achievements triggered due to me. Where do we go with that one? I don't know. Master balance. Um, democratic reform at the grassroots level has never been a matter for the grassroots level alone. As an issue of democratic reform at the grassroots level, the party is certainly not a so-called transcendent referee in this movement. We also balance and guide the benign development of the democratic reform movement with great political wisdom so as to ensure that the movement can really achieve its goals. Also, it says we are, uh, Japanese alert index is nearly 100%. Japanese alert index is 0.5%, so that might be a little bug right now. Uh, there was an update, apparently, for uh, TNOs at the time of recording, so I might have a slight problem with that. We have no political power, too, which is also very bad. Working style con conference. After we do all this stuff, agriculture, industrial and development, or equipment. They always say democracy. Brigade Secretary Luo Liu Lai is now a solid understanding of what's called the people as the master of the house. He said awkwardly. Uh, in the middle of the brigade members, not knowing where to put his hands, the central cadre and civilian clothes stood in the middle of the team members, ignoring Luo Yulai's look of help, signaling that the meeting could begin. You said last year there was a drought and the wheat of the others withered a large area. But your own production group, the wheat in the fields are all green and strong. Do you not have any selfish favoritism, you say? Uh, a member of the team who had always been at odds with him jumped up first, pointing at Luo Yulai's notes and started a curse. I was clearly decided by the lottery last year. How can I be blamed? Uh, Luo Yulai opened his mouth half a day to say his small sentence. He is very bottomless because of the drawing of laws what is what he proposed. But knows the, the son of a gun who owned luck so good that he can be finished. He saw the facts to say. Originally, everyone agreed to be out of equal shit, and he said that egalitarianism should not be, so this is draw lots. He's the most immoral person. A middle-aged woman's voice rang out, not even on this one matter of irrigation. He's immoral in everything. He's engaged in broken shoes with the least family widow. Euphara was the voice of the least family widow. How am I farting? Luo, uh, you lie, sneaked into your house. I saw it with my own eyes. You can't even control your own men. And you still care about me? Go to Luo Ji Mai's house at the east and the end of the village every three days. Why don't you care? I'll strangle you, little shrew. What started out as a democratic meeting to criticize the irrigation issue in Luo Yulai's style of work is also some alternative to a big expose of the village broken shoe story. 
Now, not only you you lie, but even the head of the Central Cadres couldn't help but seep out the sweat if you do not call it a halt. The venue will really be torn up. In case, exposing the problem is meaningful. Give meaning to into this is really. Also, we have a cup of tea here, too. So, keep us nice and refreshed. We're speaking of the stage principles of democracy. Well. The revolutionary struggle cannot be won merely by touching your lips up and down. The masses oppressed by the bad elements should not only stand up and denounce them, but also take action to bring them down completely, ban them from public office, and send them to reform through labor, and establish new leadership by the will of the masses themselves. Yeah, we want to build a navy here. Happy New March, everybody. The master balance. And a black living base. If you'd like to read about that, please go right ahead. Mm, we got a cup of white tea here. Oh, no, no, no. It's uh, decaffeinated, I think, Earl Grey. No, maybe not. It's not Earl Grey. It's something else. I forget what I got. Yay, more growth. I love it. Because we need political power for all this stuff. So, radicalism is okay, not great. Strength is not great. Strength is okay. 45%. That's why we need all this political power, which is God awfully hurting us. Walking together. I hate walking together. Ugh. Why can we never get rid of that? Of course, that doesn't help us either. Whatever. Deficit's not good. At least we have a little more growth this time. Temp tax cut. Increasing our overall growth. More growth. You know what? We're going to do that. That's going to really hurt our deficit right now. But we got 10% growth. A lot of deficit. A little bit more growth. We're finally positive, at least on this, so we can start working on this stuff more. 41, that's not good. Principle of, of democracy. Needless to say, the keyword of the grassroots of democratic reform is democracy. As an answer to get full play democracy within and outside the party, fully mobilize the masses, increase the number of voices, and pull the wisdom of the people. It's best to make certain cadres with a tough style of work, red face, and sweaty. First and foremost priority in upgrading standard governance is to respect the will of the people on the bulletin board. The secretary of the brigade is to be re-elected. The shocking news traveled from head of the village to the tail of the village in the space of a meal, and everyone who is chewed over for the implication, just not that they haven't seen the well you lie punished before, is not uncommon for them to do a review, but there's never been any talk of removing him. Nowadays, nowadays, it can really be different. Although the world is big and the wind and clouds change, but with the people in the small village has nothing to do with, only these things that are really connected with life can be in their heart like ripples. Field breaks in the discussion day by day more and more. Production team members have gotten rid of the initial sense of vertigo. Their mouths discussed more is how to let Uo Yulai honestly step down, as well as Uo Yulai step down, and then who will be the secretary. In my opinion, if we don't introduce someone else to this to choose a secretary, Uo Yulai will continue to rely on Miles. Who doesn't know this? We're just waiting for someone to fire the first shot. The next day, a campaign uh, statement was posted on the newspaper board of the village of the entrance. Entrance village. Entrance of the village. The words were written by the brigade's accountant. Zhang first exposed Luo Yulai's work mistakes for the years and laid out some simple promises for his inauguration. At the end of the statement, with a tap pen twistedly signed the name of the candidate, Liang Jiabao. At the end of the evening, when the trumpets were blowing, the people bought, brought accountant Zhang here and asked him to read out the campaign statement again. When he read a few sentences, the crowd asked to talk for a while, almost forgetting to eat their dinner. He's made a name for himself again this time. I'm a party member too, so why wouldn't I dare to run if he does? I'll write something tomorrow to run for this election. A few days of more statements were posted on the newspaper board, the more Liang Jiabao's paper had to be looked at to find the other statements. The accountant Zhang, who was dizzy from copying, finally hid his tap pen, and when the others asked, he shook his hand with a bitter smile. They say we need democracy, and I have the right to speak, so let my wrist rest for a couple days first. Great elections, total elections. Big deal, but ask for permission first. Should not have spent so much on the nuclear program. My god. Are we, no matter what, we gotta get more political power. Okay, everything takes away political power. That's not good. Bruh, really? Bro, this really sucks. Okay, I might cheat here. I'll be honest. I might cheat because all this was is ridiculous. I want us to do well here, but like... You're, you're limited so heavily. Come on, stop loading. Mm. Uh, 
Strength cannot uh, be lower than 30%. Principle of organization. How to clear between right and wrong, the border of freedom of speech and the scope of criticism, which we need to establish on the principle of law and discipline. If a democracy turns into disorganized populism, it'll mean failure. I mean, that's what it is. We comes, especially the cadres of the grassroots level. That is, we are certain the people. We should stand in the middle of the people, not, not on top of them. In the giant society, the people are afraid of the officials and authorities. And the officials within the old society like the people to be afraid of them and to obey them. If the cadres of the grassroots level also follow the example of those officials and still keep a straight face, sitting in the court, shooting at the logs of the hall, adjudicating cases, and acting as the parents' officials, then it'll be that is totally wrong. We should let the enemy be afraid, not the masses. We should not let the cadres take over everything, but we should listen patiently. When the other party has something to say, we should listen carefully and wait until he's finished his speech. Then listen to him slowly and adopt an appropriate approach to the actual situation. If we not give play to the power of the people and rely alone on the influence of a grassroots organization and cadres, it'll make democratic reforms not formal. We should not think that we are superior to the people, but in fact we are not. There's still a number of folk activists have emerged in the countryside. And their styles and methods are worthy of the study of our grassroots cadres. Uh, new creations of democracy have been opened up from the practice. Rural areas now have a private opinion box. This method is very good, and the various communes and brigades are worthy of promoting to try, but it must be for the people's office. They don't let the masses to engage in spontaneous official organizations to do their own must be counseled. To avoid the adverse effects of the official government or official organizations themselves, must be counseled to avoid any adverse effects. And sure, organizations cannot speak for the masses, and only when the masses participate spontaneously can we help to succeed in our reforms. Ji Zongjun, Adherence to Democratic Principles and Rejection of Substitution. How are we supposed to fight this? This is, this is actually really dumb. This is really, really bad and dumb. Can I finally have, like, political power? Like, my god. The most more important thing, the democratic reform of the countryside has achieved relatively significant results in terms of both institutions and mobilization. And now it's time to gradually transform this internationally initiated movement into a permanently existing system. And the focus of the work of the whole party and the whole front should be shifted as soon as possible from the democratic reform of the grassroots to the preparation for war and the preparation for the liberation of Shang-Chi. Well, you can't liberate Shang-Chi because this is really stupid because we get no political power. That needs to be taken away. Walk together needs to be taken away or at least, like, better put together because that's just that's just too harsh it's just way too harsh our president is particularly necessary to emphasize social democracy our party is a common cause of millions of people and we should allow millions of people to speak and encourage masses to participate in the revolutionary work people's speeches will be never be wrong and over the top as long as they are favorable to the development of a socialist revolutionary cause we need to listen to both good and bad words and listen to both is to be clear while partiality is to be dark only in this way can we pull our wisdom and be lively and enthusiastic our revolutionary party is afraid of not being able to hear the voice of the people, and we're seeing silence. We must believe that the majority of the mass will cherish their democratic rights. With this fundamental position, democratic life can be unliving, and the enthusiasm of the masses can be further mobilized for the cause of the socialist modernization. How can the organs of the Communist Party and the cadres of the Communist Party be afraid of the people and have no feelings for them? Can that be called the Communist Party cadres? Such cadres are not even considered good officials in feudal society. How did I distinguish between right or wrong, between black and white, between the limits of freedom of speech and the scope of criticism? This needs to be established on the principle of law and discipline. If democracy becomes a blind movement of unorganized opinion, public opinion, it would mean failure. Ji Zhong Zun. Current problems not disorganizations of people too formal. Adherence to organizational principles and opposition to uh, over activism. Let's see if we can do this one. The ambitious goals of socialist democracy can by no means be achieved by subjective enthusiasm alone. In the course of practice, we must always uh, bear in mind the wise teaching of from the people to the people, and only when the masses and party are close to each other, and only when the masses dare and are good at giving their opinions and suggestions on the work of the party and the government, will, oh god, the movement be considered to have laid a solid foundation for the ambitious goal of socialist democracy. I will cheat in the end then, so be it. This is stupid. This is incredibly stupid that we cannot get these guys. Like, come on. Like, why do we punish so hard for political power? I know we were trying to do the nuclear stuff, but why, why is that an option? Why, literally, why is that even an option for us? We don't even have $11 billion in GDP. Why would we even focus on nuclear stuff? If I... Yeah, I'll have to cheat then. So be it. I don't care. I really don't. 
when something dumb like this happens. Oh, the Central Committee. The work of democratic reforms in the countryside is now advancing rapidly, but as it does so, various problems are surfacing. Among them, both left-right leading errors. First, the expansion of the mass movement, which is too broadly based. Secondly, formalism has risen and the struggle for democracy is being staged. Third, the grassroots cadres are dissatisfied and the masses are worried. The plan for the liberation of Shang-Chi is about to begin. In order to affect the coming war, the democratic reforms of the countryside should be gradually wrapped up after they've achieved a stage-by-stage -stage result so that we can con concentrate on preparing for the war and what was. The mass is more effectively to participate in the war of liberation. I hope that the central government will agree to this as long as soon. period of time has appeared a task. The Dem campaign can be extended further for a period of time. So let's see what happens after this one. Plans for Shang-Chi. So if you read this again, please go ahead. So you can contact. At the end of the war, we left behind our members of many base areas in Shang-Chi on our way out. And now that the old comrades in these base areas have gradually restored contact with us through the chaotic situation, we'll send Kajas to establish a channel of contact with them, which will play a major role in the forthcoming Shang-Chi program. New conception in special forces. In the process of military reform, our army has gradually come into contact with and understood the concept of special forces, the quality of its members acquiring high quality, and the task uh, 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 to shoulder is, is, is significant. And we will immediately promote the training and formation of the special forces of the whole army task in order to prepare for the liberation of Shangxi and liberation of China. It's an event in mass. What makes the son of a gun choose him? Last year, when he paid his rations and crossed the scales, cleared his psalm tamper with the scales to make himself uh, pay less, which is also cleared an offensive seed, seed. Capitalist mistake. Right, capitalist error. This is the son of a gun who ambushed a brigade to prepare for the capitalist road. You farted, you said you saw it? Who else saw it? Which one? The convocation, the unsurprising clamored again among the vociferous crowd. Only Luo Yulai said without a word. He was happy to watch this farce. Why should he speak? Remove him, uh, Yuo, Luo Yulai. Now he cannot choose a new secretary. The steering group still wants him to come out to clean up the mess. You all deserve it. Uh, thinking of this level, he spat fiercely, feeling painfully happy. I saw it too, me. The face of the crop farmer became the target of the crowd, turned iron blue for a split second, and then turned red again. You you won and two all speak against your conscience. I was so angry that he couldn't speak, and his anger didn't allow him to think about it, so he simply changed the way of expression. Bring it. Luo well, you lied, had not yet figured out what happened to a fall of Badak Pir, as a small stool was drawn away, in order to elect the secretary has been quarreling for a weekend in a row. Anyone cannot bear it anymore. The furious members of the month uh, mouth continue to abuse, while stools or fists mercilessly smash at each other. I know which is not long set to bring their own dolls to also bring up to the meeting. This, movement to, this moment is to let go of the sound of howling up. Luo Yulai fumbled for a while before escaping from this terrible violence. Turn his head to see. The steering group of several cadres also crouched on the ground, looking at each other. It's great. It's all over. A military commission secret meeting. One. The day of quiet under the night, and the stars have, a, have, been, have been able to be seen. Uh, Guangzhou. Uh, an old wife, an old wife, an old and wide region in China has held on to its peace and tranquility for a long time, whereas clearly the atmosphere in here has become nervous. Xi'an City decided restricting lights in the night as well as extending the curfew time. More and more guards and soldiers are going on patrol in this urban outskirts of Xi'an. There are only a few l little military search that could be allowed. The city is preparing to return to the stage of combat readiness after 1947. It was reformed into a fortress by the CCP. In the building which belongs to the Central Military Commission, lights fill a wide situation room with some military pictures and tactical deduce props. The military leaders are sitting tensely around the conference table in the center of the room. Su Yu, Zhu Ji Yu, Han Jian Chu, Qin Ji Wei, Yang Di Zi, Wu Fa Jian, and other newly promoted or still active frontline generals are seating on both sides from left to right. Lin Biao is sitting at the head of the table, his eyes are closing in for mediation, while the man who is sitting next to him in the deputy seat is the current military, mission, military commission's second in command, Zhu Zhang Chiang. So everyone here as well, and now let's begin this meeting. Lin Biao adjusted his posture and announced the commencement of the strategic or special strategic symposium. As meeting has been delegated to me by Chairman Mao to discuss with you the next direction of the war front, we must soon face direct confrontation with the Nanjing authorities. As everyone has seen from the br briefings, Gao Zongwu is further expanding the role and quality of the Republic Army, preparing to form more elite troops, and he has received support from the Japanese masters. The Japanese imperials have become increasingly anxious about the situation in East Asia, especially after the establishment of the ANLR and the development of the National Defense Front's nuclear program. Then they have not only relaxed control over the public government of Gao, but are also punishing us, uh, pushing us for the first time. That means even if we don't attack them, the enemy must attack us once they're prepared. Then Lin Biao decided to make a joke. The German said that we are like a woman who just got married, knowing that she'll give birth but do not know when. So now it's necessary to discuss with the mothers-in-laws here how we're going to give birth to this child. There are some very wry smiles around the room, but the atmosphere will still remain intense. So he was first to respond. Uh, if we're going to go to war now, we must uh, prepare under the premise of full-scale conflict with Japan and its public regimes. The current combat readiness work is pro progressing smoothly. I believe we can soon complete the preliminary preparations, giving us initiative. Zhu uh, Xi Yu continued, If we fight, it boils down to three directions. To the north, we would need to pass through the frontier regions to fight against the puppet Mongolian regime. To the east, 
We would cross the Yellow River to attack Shangxi into the south. We clashed with the Hu Luhan group on the Yunnan Guizhu Plateau. Yang Desi added, however, all three plans come with risks. Although our armies fought several battles over the years, whether we would qualify for, full for a full scale war is yet to be tested. We must limit the risks to a certain extent so that the front's strategy and morale are not severely affected. You all have valid points. We need to devise a plan that identifies the enemy's weakest points for an easy assault. After saying this, Lin Biao gestured to Zhu Xiangqiang with his eyes. Zhu Xiangqiang nodded, then he stood up. I suggest that Shang should be the breaking point for a national defense front at this moment. Well prepared, Zhu Xiangqiang stood up and the attendees realized that the real protagonist had finally taken center stage. She suppressed the bubbling excitement in his heart. Zhu Xiangqiang presented his years long building map speech to everybody. A detailed map of the Shangxi combat plan was densely marked with symbols indicating enemy bases, assembly areas, and economic and military hubs, especially noticeable were the scattered fortress clusters in the northwestern mountains. Shangxi is currently the most suitable direction for the following reasons. First, since the death of Fu Zuo Yi, the loyalty of the Shangxi faction dispersed and disputes are going ongoing. Tiao Yuan's control over nearby bases is also weakened, and we've received messages from comrades left in our own base areas asking to reestablish contact. Second, Shangxi is a crucial area for the Nanjing authorities, both as minerals and energy resources, play a significant role in the public government's economic map. Attacking from here would disrupt and dis severely undermine Nanjing's war preparations. Third, fortification system along the Yellow River, built after the war under the supervision of Okoyama Yasuji, has been neglected for years. The field artillery currently equipped by us is especially designed to counter and restrain such fortifications. We should leave with our special forces from this mountain army, infiltrating the western Shangxi Mountains, making an opening. Since the enemy relies on the fortresses, the main forces are primarily concentrated on the Datong, where the Zhongtiao Mountain line. The mountain fortresses on the eastern bank of the Yellow River are only connected point to point, easy to divide with the help of our old base areas. A few targeted strikes and weak points would split the entire defense network, collapsing Shangxi's fortress system. Once the enemy's fortress system is thoroughly breached, our Yellow River troops across the river, quickly seizing the eastern bank, clearing obstacles and establishing four bases. Our actions will surely attract the close attention of Nanjing and even in Japan, hence, we need to control the progression of the plan, especially as escalating it step by step. Only when a favorable opportunity for our front arises should a full scale offensive begin, by then we will help with the help of our vanguard troops, the People's Liberation Army will forcibly cross the Yellow River and liberate Shangxi. As they finished, everyone was jolted awake from the comprehensive plan, followed by hearty applause. In reality, Zhu Yongchan had discussed this special scheme with such leaders before the meeting and received their approval. Bo Yi Bo and others had even been provided a lot of intelligence and information. The purpose of this meeting was primarily to persuade those frontline commanders. Lin Biao also joined in applause after subsided. He said, Well, it seems like everyone agrees with the comrade Zhu Zhongquan's suggestion. Very well, let's adopt this plan as a conclusion of the meeting. Do not forget to convey the spirit of the meeting to the entire cadre of, of regiments and above. That's all. Dismissed. Also, like I said, I did use Kong's commands. I, I don't care at this point. I wanted what I wanted. And they got the strength for them, but they got the radicalism too high, so I don't really care. It, that needs to be like redone or something. Uh, Yellow River Army. Well, let's do this one. Increase the amount. The existing special forces alone are not enough. We need more and better quality soldiers on board to ensure the smooth progress of the program. Mountain Special Forces. The Mountain Army, part of the front's system of special operations forces, were adept at constructing, uh, conducting infiltration operations, and in the Shangxi plan, they would be responsible for acting as a vanguard to infiltrate the mountains of Western Xinjiang and dismantle the fortress system in Shangxi. You got a lot of mountain guys, huh? Name battle tanks. I don't think we can really afford those. At the very least, let's grab at least another night infantry, but. Happy August now. Because the enemy does have a lot of divisions, so. Long time to see. I can't imagine you guys actually take your work to the enemy's bunker. Yeah, let's thanks to Senior Officer Liang Huazi Liang. Already. Uh, almost 60 year old Dong Tianzi today glowed with no less than the vitality of the young people. Vaguely, why beer can be seen also excitingly rising. There had almost been 20 years that have not seen commerce from the Central Committee, and this time is still as former in the death of the column of the old partner, Zhang Zia. Leading his old partner on a stroll through the former Jin army post that guarded the gateway to the northern Jin, Dong Tianzi chattered. In the previous years, the comrades had infiltrated this place to start the revolutionary work, but it was not until a few days ago that we were able to launch mutiny because those people in the Tianyuan uh, were having a hard time. Not only are they fighting amongst themselves, but also short of money, and they're also scouring the bones of these soldiers. 
The soldiers are also scraping the bones and marrow. Actually, not pay wages for nearly five consecutive months, all rely on a little bit of sand mixed with poor food to fool people. The officer in charge here is also bad seed, not moving to suck the blood of the soldiers, and almost also mistreat the soldiers. After we agree to supply food in her base, and some of the lower middle level officers who are originally inclined to her comrades cooperate with the comrades here. And that day, the officer was once again beating the people to start a military mutiny. Now it's our chief of staff, Comrade Kai Tigen, uh, T is presiding over the situation here. Rong Zhe, who can volunteer to return to Shangxi to do liaison work, also couldn't help but smile when he heard this. After so many years, Lao Dong, your political work is still as sharp as ever. It's true that the sword hasn't aged, huh? Does Tiao Yuan know about the situation here? What's your numbers? What percentage of gorillas and party members? Tai Yuan is completely unaware, and we're now blocking the news and disguising it as if everything is normal. But the girls have been mixed with the uprising soldiers, and the Communist Party cadres have been assigned as political instructors at all levels, totaling around 2,000 or so. The comments here will tell you more of those specifics later. Well, after grasping the main road here, our troops. Uh, oh god. Uh, well, then I have a good guarantee when they march into the northwestern Jin, and I also reported the Central Committee in detail. Hrong Zhe looked around and noticed that there were quite a number of quite old soldiers walking around the camp. Their faces weathered, and they were obviously old guerrillas who had been turned to war for many years. So they're conscious of the generally much younger Kuomintang soldiers. A feeling of heartache rose, then he turned his head to Dong Tianji and said, You guys aren't easy to do. Saying behind the enemy lines and still making these kinds of accomplishments, you've worked hard for so many years. Hair and beard as white has been uh, Dong Tianji's words silent for a moment. Years of experience for a moment as a walking light flashes in the brain. Yang Zhishan affected to the enemy after their own guerrillas rooted behind enemy lines. Jin Sui Jin Cha He, surviving comrades in the mountains to rebuild the party organization in the base atop the ghosts and traitors of the rain of bullets rolled in the land of the northwestern Jin. How many comrades with a passion of blood and willingness to fall in front of their own? How many comrades with a lot of blood and willingness have fallen in the front of them? Did any stay alive until now so they could one day fight back to avenge them? It was a long time before he answered. We will fight whatever, how many years it takes, until we're dead. Yellow River Army. The Yellow, uh, Yellow River Army, part of the front system of Special Operations Forces, uh, specializes in conducting cross, oh, God damn it, uh, cross river operations and a Shang-Chi plan. We were responsible for the armed swims across the river to quickly capture the eastern bank of the Yellow River, clearing obstacles and establishing forward positions. It's kind of dragging on. Diverging uh, paths of life. How should one's life be spent? Throughout all the time that he has lived, for which is not long, and this is the question that Wang Wei Wei Guo has never managed to get rid of, rid of from his head. Almost a score ago in a year of the cow, a bull was given birth on its impoverished land in an ordinary cave house that could be found anywhere in Shanghai. The first thing that his boy could breathe when he first opened his eyes was a small ocher that filled up the cave house. When he sees his parents, Wang Yu Quan, and his wife both silent with a delighted look on their faces in spite of the harsh environment that they live in, since then he got his own name, Wang Wei Guo. Shanghai is an impoverished land, yet a holy land, until his day. It is still the place where the CPC continues to struggle. It's a revolutionary shrine that marks decades of combat that the communists have been through. Glorious and noble, majestic and magnificent, and therefore well known, but yet again impoverished and sometimes even hostile. The people of Shan Bai live a better life of bitter life of poverty and hardship. Whether it's during times of war or short periods of peace as they're experiencing now, maintaining survival has always been the basic priority of their lives. They gave birth to children, they sow seeds to the fields, and they manage to make a living. They face the yellow dry sands, they embrace winds and sunshine, generations after generations everlasting and never change. Wei never forgot the year when he was seven. His father took him to the bag from his uncle who lives in Xianjian and bought him a bowl of camellia with the last cent in his pocket. When Wang had finished his camellia, he asked Father Popple, Why don't you drink? His father replied, I'm not thirsty. But how can this be? They've traveled through hundreds of miles of roads and half a dozen mountains. How come he's not thirsty? Wang knew that his father was lying because he left him with the last bits of cash that he had, soaked by the sweat of his palm. The morning that they got to Wang's uncle's place, his father left silently like a thief. And he also sneaked behind the tree at the village's gates to watch him leave. He knew that his father could no longer afford to raise him, intending to leave him here. He could have cried and chased him if he wished, but Wang didn't. That's because he also knew that this is the only place that can raise him until he's grown up. Since then, endless Charles never left him alone. What do we got looking forward to? Military professionalism, industrial equipment, uh, admin efficiency is slowly getting better. Healthcare is getting better. Rudimentary healthcare. Oh, with nascent healthcare? That'll be good. Um, hello again, Comrade Yang, Ying Ying Kai. As expected, the person responsible for the recruitment of the medical team of the Southward Legion was Zhu Lin, but Ying Ying Kai didn't remember who this person was. Have we met somewhere before, Comrade? A few years ago, there was a female doctor who wanted to aid Han Zong, but she was too twisted to hand over a file. Zhu Zhu Lin laughed lightly, but there shouldn't be that problem now, right? Ying Ying Kai came to realization and said with a smile, I was transferred to Chief of Surgery the other day and also joined the party. Now I can always devote myself to the fronts. Anti Japanese cause openly and honestly, right? That's natural, Zhu Lin said with a smile. A smile, but this time you have to think about it. Our team has been reorganized on two major corps. Commander Zhu is leading the North Corps and will soon be fighting in Shangxi. The intensity of the battle will be very high, and the medical gap can be imagined to be very large. Vice Chairman Lin is leading the South Corps. We'll be fighting Yunnan first, and you're a na 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 native of Yunnan. 
I, I want to drift outside a half a lifetime and really should go back to sea. I don't know which side you want to choose. In front of Ying and Kai seems to be a dilemma. Zhu Lin is not too busy to urge her. This office is open to, to the community to recruit, and most of the doctors do not have to come over. So once the war breaks out, the organization will arrange for them to go. It's really in front of doc this. Dr. Yang, anti-Japanese enthusiasm is too high. 30 years have not been able to wear the clothes, but also to wear the clothes. 30 years have not been able to extinguish the enthusiasm of a doctor who has personally participated in the Western Union War. Finally, the Ying Ying Kai looked like she had made up her mind and raised her head. We better go back to the old home of mine. Um, let's go to Shangxi. There's going to be a lot of bloodshed. We want to be in there. Uh, the guts of it. Forest the Yellow River. It's high noon. Now all units cross the uh, Yellow River and liberate Shangxi. Foster parents undoubtedly love Wang Wei Guo, although they are also very poor. They always do their best to provide for his life. But they also love him studying and go to school, although the study of the clothes does not cover his body, not enough to eat. He's very happy, and academic performance has been very good until the primary school graduation and take the examination of the secondary school. Uh, the foster father began to face uh, the face of the difficult, and the family also had no money. Wang Wei Guo knew that his family was in a difficult situation, but he was still stubborn and said, Even if I can't study, I have to prove to myself that I can get an exam. As a result, he stood out from the dozens of places available. When his father asked him to go up the mountains to chop wood, he threw the axe down and cried, Dad, I want to go to school. I want to go to school. His father was not happy, but he could not bear to see his child's broken hearted face, so he took the initiative to ask old friends from the commune and brigade to come help him. And also scraped together some money from the neighbors and relatives, so Wang Wei Guo ate and ate. So Wang Wei Guo also ate 100 rice into the middle school. Secondary school is a new world, where they were not only textbooks and all kinds of books, newspapers and libraries all encompassing, what information can be found, but also the time is vaguely aware of the world outside Shangxi province. Germany and Japan entrenched in the whole of Europe and Asia. China is the Japanese uh, hypocrites and traitors under the oppression of the blood and tears. The U.S. organized a coalition of free countries in fierce confrontation with the fascist imperialists. The Soviet Union, the Red Star was looked up to, and the world of the United States was only one of the most important countries. The once admired. The Red Star of the USSR has been reduced to scattered fragments on the Russian soil, but there are still countless revolutionaries who have stubbornly resisted and continue to fight in every inch of the world, including us, China. Now, it's already 21 years old and is facing the choice of his life after graduation. Originally, he wanted to go to the production team to continue to work as a handyman, but recently, the information conveyed in the newspapers made him, who was very sensitive to the direction of the political winds, gradually perceived that the decisive battle between the National Defense Front and the ghosts and traitors may be coming soon. Perhaps there's, there's a new chance. Sorry, I'm fast. I'm just like, at this point, it's just dragging on. A little bit. Just I, I don't want it to drag on. I want to get things done and focus, fixed and focused and see what's next. Because it just feels like we're just here forever and ever. And of course the translation doesn't help, but like still. What the heck happened here? The Euro Military District? Bogtov. Nice job. Pokrushka. Oh god, wow. That is definitely a fight. Growth is okay, so plus is okay. Now I'll focus more on the economy. How's America doing? Uh, we got a jumbo here. We don't like Afghanistan. Yeah, that's pretty normal. Conditions of the country and the world have been suitable, and the Central, Commit Central Military Commission will take the next step by itself. You don't need to operate. Oh. Foolish old man removes mountains. We all know the story of the foolish old man removing a mountain now. However, right here, there are also two big mountains pressing down on the Chinese people. One called imperialism and the other called feudalism. Our common spire has long made up its mind to dig out of these two mountains. We will never give up. We will keep working. And we can also move to the god. This guy is no one else but the people of China as a whole. If all the people who live in China rise up and join us digging up these two mountains, how does anything we can't overcome? Diverging paths of life. 3. Today, Wang Wei Gu's friend from childhood came to his door and said that he had gone to the conscription office to sign up to prepare for the front line and ask him what his plans were. I want to go up too, but you know how difficult it is for my family. I don't know how I'm going to get past my parents. Well, even if you can't go, it's okay. After all, the front line is still too dangerous. You're so close in the rear. The transport food and so on also contribute to those of us who are fighting the war. <laughs> small hairs. Uh, hair are small words. They're still surrounded by the ears. A strong sense of unwillingness and impulse to fill the heart. He wanted to go to the front, but remembered his parents and eyes. Sad eyes, but even the courage opened his mouth. Parents need to take care of. Going to war may be a sacrifice, but the opposite side of what is a new world of hot blood. How can it be indifferent? Stay or go out. How should he choose? Messy thoughts gradually receded. Remember that today there's wood to chop. Wang Wei Guo picked up the axe, sitting on the wooden pier, to ready, is ready to deal with the yard full of piles of firewood. Suddenly, an aircraft uh, came out of the clouds, making a rumbling noise. He looked up and found that the aircraft was from the other side of the Yellow River. The insignia of the tail from the Kuomintang dogtooth emblem in the rising of the rising sun. That is a Japanese aircraft. 
Then from the east bank of the Yellow River, amidst the mountains of western Jinzi, came the sound of one dense burst of artillery after another, a strange phenomenon that had been going on for several days. The sound of roaring airplanes and stumbling artillery stimulated the heart of the young Wing Wing Guo in the distance, and I perceived for an instant that the sound was calling his bugle. Hmm. Happy October. We need anti-air, a little bit more artillery, and support equipment. Pretty normal. Still building up rosier, huh? So I assume something's gonna happen here soon. Just to wait until something comes up, I guess. Well, everyone, nothing has happened, unfortunately. Um, we're still training for war. There's no major issues. I think this is glitched, unfortunately. Um, I did use cons commands earlier and tried and uh, auto completed these focuses, but unfortunately, nothing's nothing happens. What do you mean you do not need to operate? I mean, there's nothing we could do. As June 1st, 1971, we got better agricultural methods. We just fixed our industrial equipment, we just had a high increase in societal development for healthcare, so, like for us right now, we're doing okay, we have a functional administration, but everything else, like it makes no sense, um, like, I don't know why the focus is complete, and I don't want to end the campaign here, but like, we might have to end the campaign here, there's literally nothing we could do, I, I don't understand. I've been sitting here for months waiting for something to happen, but is it because we need nuclear weapons? I mean, honestly, if we need nuclear weapons, that's going to be kind of insane. So, yeah. I mean, we've been trying to train for war. We've got six infantry divisions in reserve, just in case, but I might just have to end it here because there's literally nothing we can do. Um, so, I apologize that we're ending it like this. Uh, they said we're going to go to war and have the Wuhan and Peking and Lai Tzu do something, but... This mod is still in development, that's what I'm going to say. So, I guess we have to end it there, because there's literally nothing else. So, if you enjoyed the campaign, please consider leaving a like. And subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. I hope to see you again sometime in this mod to see what else it gets developed. And I guess see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.